The internet is filled with fraud and malicious content. You can't be sure which site or program is safe to run on your PC. In this video, you are going to see live examples of how you can identify scam websites and malware with a few simple tools. After completing the whole video, you will have the basic cybersecurity skills that everyone should have. Identifying scam websites. The websites are the prime source of malware infection. Not only this, the internet is filled with lots of websites that are constantly trying to scam you. You need to have some basic skills to identify such websites and avoid them. For example, we have a known scam website here. It's called GamerForYou.com. At the front, the website looks good, as a game downloading site should, although it lacks several items that a genuine website should have. Still, normal users won't recognize it. What you can do is, you can right-click on this page and select Inspect. This will open the HTML source code of the website. Users who know HTML can read it and analyze it. However, not all users know about HTML, but you can always take help from websites like Scam Advisor. If we search for this website on the Scam Advisor, we see that it has a very poor trust score. There are so many negative highlights for this website, such as it has fewer visitors. The website server is located at the place where other suspicious sites are hosted and some engines that are detecting this site as harmful. If we compare this website to our own malware Fox site, we can see a trust score of 100 out of 100. So this is a good indicator of a safe website. You can also analyze a few scam websites by simply looking. The scam websites usually don't have pages like privacy policy, contact details, and contact us. These are pages any good business website would like to have. Like in the gamer for you website, we don't find any of these. Some other signs are redirection and pop-ups. Malicious websites redirect users to other scam pages to generate revenue. You might see pop-ups like your antivirus is expired renew now. The software downloading sites with lots of download buttons is also a sign. If you see any of these things, avoid that website. You can also use the Bitdefender traffic light extension. It blocks the connection and shows this warning if you try to visit a scam website. The next cybersecurity step is analyzing a downloaded program and see if they are safe to run or not. I am taking the same example of this website. Let's click on the download button. The download is started. It is a compressed RAR file that I need to extract. Then it asks for the password. This is also a sign of a suspicious program, as no genuine software would want to put a password in their program installer. Cyber criminals lock their malicious program so that antivirus cannot scan and block it during the download. The first step to know if the program is safe or contains malware is to run it on VirusTotal. This particular file is being detected by several engines on VirusTotal, so you can stop executing it from here. Sometimes VirusTotal doesn't show any detection. In that case, you should check the file on hybrid analysis. It virtually runs the file in your selected environment and presents you with the report. As you can see here, it is being detected as malicious. Hybrid analysis also shows you sandbox reports with the threat score. So it's a good idea to check your file here. There is another tool called PE Studio, which analyzes the malware and gives you information like headers, certifications, strings, libraries, etc. You can use this information to know if the file is safe or not. If you don't want to go with these advanced tools, you can simply use Microsoft Sys internal tools like Process Explorer and TCP View. These tools help you to identify which program is executing which process and whether they are connecting to a remote server. On the Process Explorer, we can also enable the virus total score. It will show you the detection score of the running process. Let's run this malicious program and see the live action. We can see this program is running several PowerShell commands and loading lots of DLLs, which is suspicious. If we check the TCP view, this program is connecting to this remote address. Now you know it is double suspicious. Now this is the time that you should abort this program. 
In this example, I was trying to download a program, but sometimes we download normal documents from the internet, but they tend to be malicious executable. You might download an email attachment that says the file is PDF, the file icon also says the same. But when you check the properties of the file, it says an application. To avoid this, you can enable the view file extension in your file explorer. This way, you can verify the file extension before running it. So these are the basic cybersecurity skills that everyone should have. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security. So subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.